Hi, I'm Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV, and uh, we're here to show you um, a rather special rifle, actually. It's the very latest version of the Daystate Huntsman, and it's <clears throat> called the Huntsman Revere, and that's actually named after a chap called Paul Revere, who was um, famously came galloping in to say the British are coming. They still use it to sort of say the British are coming because they sell rather a lot of these in the States and it's sort of making a statement. So, yeah, it's quite a quirky name. Because this brand new Revere model signal the, <coughs> the new feature of the key change to a side lever. It's, I have to say in use, it's very, very slick. I was one of the first to, to have Day State Huntsman um, sort of custom back in the old FT days. They did the Huntsman FTR, which had a very neat little uh, walnut stock. And it was, yeah, it was a cracking gun, but by today's engineering standards, they always were known as agricultural. It was flipping accurate, but the finish and build was just nothing on a par with these. And these latest ones really are mouthwatering. So let's go uh, go through the features. These are about uh, 1,200 quid uh, or just under. And uh, this one was kindly lent from Range and Country, which is the main day state dealer in Sleaford, Lincolnshire. The key thing is they're a, they're a lightweight hunting rifle in the day state lineup. This is a purely mechanical PCP. Obviously, Day State have become known in modern, the modern era for their very clever electronic. I'm in the camp which says they're very clever, but you don't need them. And this is um, a particularly impressive, beautiful mechanical system. Starting at the front, you've got a, a threaded muzzle there. We'll show that, I wanna show that outside because I'll show the difference um, with the silencer on and off. That's pretty good. So you can put a sight you can put a sight on there, although you've got a shrouded barrel the on a PCP, you know the science that can really kill the report, so I'd, I'd probably recommend it. Charging, you've got a manometer in the front of the cylinder, so you can keep a check on your power, uh, residual power on there. It is a, a regulated system, so that you've got the front gauge there which shows the cylinder pressure. Then there's also is a Huma regulator fitted to these, and underneath you've got another manometer that will show the regulator pressure so you don't have to worry about that one really but it's just there to um you know for any problems really Obviously well finished walnut stock nice and <clears throat> that's got very well cut laser cut checkering to diamond checkering the feel of this is particularly they're very upmarket the stocks all manelli made obviously so it's italian made as you know they're sort of pretty well soaked up the uk air gun market at the top top end but it's beautifully done. You've got the R for Revere in the grip. You've got a thumb shelf there. So you've got real attention to detail. And the ergonomics of that, it just falls beautifully. You've got a nice setback trigger. Although it's slightly curved, it's a very flat surfaced um, trigger. Two stage adjustable, very sweet unit. And uh, like I say, that, that for me, I've got quite large hands, but that just falls perfectly. It's a very sweet trigger unit. <clears throat> uh, obviously sort of English style red butt pad and your um, rollover cheek piece. These are right or left handed so you can literally specify. Uh, not that many manufacturers do that now but um, so it's a dedicated stock uh, which, which is normally better in use. And on here as I say you've got the brand new side lever which will show outside and you've also got the option of a single, comes with a single shot tray which snaps in with a magnet and then you've also got Day State's new style of um, sort of gate loading magazine. Again we'll show these being switched outside but that's the uh, magazine style so you've opened the front then you wind it round against spring pressure, drop your first pellet in, and then you fill every chamber. It's all, all metal, and it's a very neat bit of kit, so they're sort of quite robust. <coughs> Other features here, you've got manual safety catch. Just show that, and you can see it's flagged. So you've got red for, for live fire, um, you know, the red dot, and then that. But again, it's in the perfect position so you can nudge it off with your thumb. And it's manual, so I mean, I'm, I'm never that bothered about safeties, but if you want one, um, it's in exactly the right place to use. So yeah, all very nice. Rosewood cap on the four, on the pistol grip there, so it just contrasts nicely. I mean, the way, the build quality on these is very, very nice. Another feature that's worth mentioning is the action's deliberately that bit lower 
in the woodwork. Um, Dave State sort of deemed that that was a good idea on a, on a, on a hunting model. It certainly gives it a slightly more streamlined um, look overall, but uh, yeah, it's nicely done. Magazine wise, you've got it's 13 shots in 177 and 11 shots in 22. Uh, now on test, I um, have to say, because it's Huma regulated, I tested a, a whole, you know, the main charge, checking on the residual pressure, so not going too low. And I had um, 117 shots with a 14 feet per second total spread. That's pretty damn good. And yeah, the, the Huma regulator is really impressive on this. And um, accuracy wise, it's, a, it's a fair to say I've, I've been seriously tempted as to whether I was going to buy this rifle. I don't really need it, but um, it's, it's just single hold at, we'll show you the groups, but single hold at 40 yards, particularly good. As I say, the, the slickness of the action as well, it's very, very nice. So anyway, let's take it outside and we'll um, put a few shots through it. So we're out here with the Daystate Huntsman Revere and a rather uh, splendid rifle it's, it is. It's, it's a lovely looking bit of air gun. Uh, but as, as we said, it's single shot or magazine. So at the moment we've got the single shot tray loaded. So basically all you do to change it, pull the back the lever, cock the action, and then the, the single shot tray is held in with a magnet. Daystate are very good at using little miniature magnets. And so that, you know, you just drop that in and it snaps into place and then you just roll your pellet across. So if you want to go to magazine, take that out. And then we've got our filled um, cassette magazine here and that slides in from the side. And I'll just show you that again, it's actually pulled in by the magnet again. So all very neat, very slick. And then thereafter, return your lever. Again, there's a, there's a small magnet actually that pulls that lever in at the start. So it's very slick and um, they've got it off to a T now. Um, so let's just do a few shots to show the cycling. So you can see how um, how slick that is in use. The ergonomics of it are spot on. Uh, and so we have we've left that off. You've got the option say, to put a silencer on. Actually, out here, you're probably not going to hear the uh, a dramatic difference. But uh, in in an enclosed space, you do pick up a bit more of the noise. But the, the shroud's actually doing a pretty good job. I've just put on a carbon fibre silencer there. We'll just see how that goes. Yeah, actually, it doesn't sound like a lot of difference here, but in a more enclosed space, I have noticed it takes off just a bit more of a crack. So it's up to you. You sort of slightly spoil the um, profile with the silencer, but um, it's very, very slick. But all told, uh, it's one of the very best day states I've, I've shot. Supremely accurate and um, really well built. And as I say, that new side lever elevates the system the best huntsman by miles we've just added this in as an extra because the difference indoors just shows you that extra noise that's being emitted that you don't always pick up outside and how much it is eaten by the silencer so this is the gun as standard that's pretty loud obviously not bad I mean, it's not too aggressive compared to some and we are indoors but i just wanted to make the point that's in place So you can hear that's, I hope you pick out, that's really taken off the sort of um, violent signal there or the more aggressive notes on it. But anyway, I'd recommend a silencer for hunting and your quarry will pick out less, you know. But anyway, fabulous rifle. That's the Daystate Huntsman Revere.